So now we're going to hardwire the dash cam. For this I bought this additional hardwire kit. It comes with three really small cables. One for the ground, one for the continuous power and one for the accessory. So this one is switched and this one is continuous. So I attached this little ring to it to attach it to the ground and I add these to add a circuit. So you can see you have to use this size of fuse which is micro and I ordered additional fuses as well. The fuse panel And there it is, the fuse panel. So you can see I already used one at a circuit. This one is for my top and start module. I will share a video link here. So of course, technically you could use every fuse you want, but it is wise to see into your fuse panel and make sure that you use a fuse that is safe to use. Earlier I made a special video about the fuses and which one is safe to use. Here you can see that, that video. And in that video, I also share this little schema. In the schema, you can see in detail what fuses it is used for what and which one is safe to use or not. So you have to look to it like this. And you can see the extended storage here. That is this big white button. And in the schema, you will discover that the whole lower row is blue and that means that it is continuous and the upper row is almost all yellow and that means that it is switched so for the ground i can use this bolt and now i have to look for two good places for my continuous power and my switched power so in the schema you can see that there are also some spare fuses those aren't used yet so those are of course safe to use i have place here to put it on as well so the 10 amperes could be a great one to use and for the switched one i can use the sick lighter in the front and the power socket so the power socket the second one so the second one here that's the power socket that is in the front I will use that as well. You should know that there is a position in which they should be placed. So let's measure my continuous first. I will use the multimeter. I attach the black wire onto the metal part. I will switch the car on. And now let's put the multimeter on 20 and in the fuse we're going to look for which what is the switch side and which one is the draw side. So when I touch in the lower part I can see that I have almost 12 volts and when I touch in the upper part like this I have 0 volts. So now let's do the same thing for the upper fuse there you go so there as well it is the lower part that gets the 12 volt. So why is the position important? So the power comes in from the lo lower part, goes through one fuse and back to the circuit, or it goes in and goes to the second added circuit. If you put the added circuit piggyback the wrong way in, the power will always go through both fuses. And if there's something going wrong, you will blow both fuses as well. Here's my continuous fuse, there's my accessory fuse, I hide the cables over here. 
with a little bit protection tape so it doesn't rub onto this metal part. There's my ground and here I hide the little hard wire box well tucked away so it doesn't rattle and now I'm going to feed the cable behind this rubber seal up to the dash cam. Here it goes directly in, it follows the liner and here you can just go down and now I can tuck this cable away. And there it is, the cable hide it, everything is still is really good accessible, nothing dangles around. In order to detect the hard wire kit, you should start the car once after you wired everything up and then it noticed that you have parking surveillance. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the very next video. Bye bye.